Hi guys, Dr. Brace here with you. And in the previous video, we talked about the microbiome, the importance of the microbiome and how it became such a massive scientific enterprise. In this video, we are gonna discuss how to visualize the skin microbiome. And how do we in fact visualize this unseen world of the microbiome? One way to visualize this is to think of it as a field of wildflowers. Why this visual of a field of wildflowers? What do we see? Well, we see diversity always. Multitudes of flower colors, sizes, and lengths. They are crowding each other, but they crowd each other synergistically. One flower may be taller to get to the sun at the top, Others at the bottom need less light and that nice fit doesn't allow other invasive species such as weeds to find a foothold. There is no space in a good diverse wildflower field. There is no space for other invasive plants to come in. But this biodiversity is not just across space. It also occurs across time. It constantly changes in spring there may be one type of flower and when it is drier in the summer there is another type and in the fall again another true biodiversity responds to different conditions temperatures amounts of nutrients allowing the right flower to bloom at the right time just when they are needed naturally effortlessly biodiversity is a strength that crowds out bad players and also makes the field resilient to stresses such as too much sun, too little rain, too much heat or cold. With diversity, the system can adjust. In the same way, a healthy microbiome is one that is diverse and responsive to conditions at hand. If you are out in the sun, one microorganism could be more active. If you are indoors, another one will be active. If you are in wet conditions or dry conditions, they will naturally adjust to prevent bad microbiomes and viruses and other pathogens from infecting your skin. They are truly the first defense on your body because they are on the surface. We used to think that skin was the first defense. Wrong. It's actually the microbiome. And a diverse microbiome is a healthy microbiome. So if you view it as a diverse wild flowering field, you will also note that different wild flowers bloom on different hillsides. Each region, each hill is unique and different. That is exactly the same as your body. Your body is uniquely yours and your microbiome is going to be uniquely yours both across space and time. The microbiome will change based on your genetics, your lifestyle, where you live and many other factors unique to you. This is the second insight that a healthy microbiome is not only diverse microbiome but that this diversity will be unique to you. In this way, you cannot purchase your microbiome in a can or in a pill. You have to nurture it, for it is yours and yours alone. Sadly, the only consistent thing in the microbiomes is often the fact that it's the unhealthy microbiomes that often look the same from person to person, but healthy ones they shine with individual beauty. Plants are living organisms and so is your skin microbiome. So the last two insights lead us to the third insight that there are no quick fixes. You have to give the microbiome time. You have to nurture it. You cannot buy a microbiome in a box. You cannot force it. You have to let it naturally come into bloom and treat it gently.